There's just so much to like about arcade machines that even old games like these can give you so much joy. I can think of so many positives about these machines. There is still one downside to them and that is I just don't have any space for one. Yeah, but isn't that why we have friends? They've been collecting them for their games rooms and restoring them and, you know, sometimes I do get a bit of a glimpse into the restoration process, so we're going to look at one of those machines. And also this interesting stack of boards. The Mortal Kombat arcade was sitting in a warehouse looking rather dirty and scuffed, and also missing all of its buttons and joysticks. The wiring inside also wasn't looking all that great either, with quite a mess to go and clean up in there. So first off, fixing all the cosmetics off the case with a bit of wood putty and making everything look rather nice with the help of this little tool which helps you smooth out the vinyl. Then the cabinet got to have a nice lie down as we did the wiring. An electrician had already looked at the power supply and we were left to go and wire up all the different controls and boards so that everything was communicating with each other. We were also helped by the technical manual which we managed to get an original copy of and that gave us just a bit more confidence in everything going in the right spot. My friends also used their skills to go and put the vinyl onto that control panel and I used my ability to connect buttons up to little bits of other plastics so that they would all be ready to be hooked up to the wires. And also the switches for the joysticks got put in and wired up. So I reckon we must be getting pretty close now to seeing this cabinet working and in action. Yeah, okay, that was bound to happen, eh? But after a bit of prodding and head scratching and stuff, we eventually got it working. I don't have any footage, but Mortal Kombat 2 is working on this and the cabinet is looking so much nicer than it did back in that old dusty warehouse. Now onto this hamburger PCB which has a jammer connector on the top and if we look into the contents of the burger we can find a few bits of electronics to interface the jammer PCB with what is looking like a regular PC motherboard underneath there. There's a bit of electronics on the jammer board and the hard drive is even mounted to it. To test it I should be able to just plug it into a regular ATX power supply and remove these little adapters so I can plug it into a monitor as well. Hey, hey look it's a Pentium 4. Let's go check out the CMOS and yeah drives ain't showing. Let's go check this one out. Yeah it's on auto. Hmm yeah not really detecting is it? Well, let's reboot, see if it goes through, and yeah, seems to be something up with the hard drive, or maybe it's actually that top board somehow interfering with the bottom board. Well, yeah, let's go pull it apart, have a look inside. And with it pulled apart, you can more easily see that it is just a regular Pentium 4 motherboard. So with all of that extra stuff disconnected, let's see if it loads up and what's on it. So yeah, we get Windows localized for another language, a mouse cursor for ages, and you can see briefly that it's got Windows 2000 Professional, but then it seems like it loads some program and that program sends the monitor output out of sync. None of my devices were able to show it and maybe if I had the gear I have now, I might've been able to see the monitor output. Ideally I would have tried it out in an arcade cabinet and tinkered around to see why the hard drive wasn't originally working. But my mate has gone and sold it on and I'm not really all that fussed because really it's a lot like this thing that I covered in a previous video where it's a full computer that you put in the cabinet and then you use a little adapter like this to go hook it up to a jammer connector. Or an even better option would be using an FPGA solution like the Mysticade and it will give you a much more accurate reproduction of the arcade games. We do have some more detailed arcade restoration videos in the works like this Blast City. Mark also got himself two Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle arcades. One of them already fully restored so we can't wait to show you that. 
and waiting to be restored, we even have a Neo Geo Arcade, along with a whole pile of other stuff that we're either restoring, modding or playing with up on the channel. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.